Yo, 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 what's up? This your boy XV coming through with another episode of the X Vision Files. And I got an interesting one for y'all on this episode right here. On this episode, we're going to be talking about 3D printing guns. That's right, 3D printing guns. And it is perfectly legal. You can um, buy the kit, you know, you can buy the 3D printer. It's like roughly like between $1,500 to $2,000. I don't know if the price went up, but. You know, that's when I last seen. I last seen it says it was about like fifteen hundred, but it probably not shot up to like two thousand or whatever. But anyway, man, I think this is a um, this is something that everybody should have in their home, even women. You know, it's a three D printer that prints guns. Yes, it is very real. They do have this type of technology. This technology was out a long time ago. It's not just coming out. It's not nothing new. They been had this technology. But um, I think I'll put I think I want to put this to the forefront because this is something that's tangible and something that everybody should have in their household, you know, and um, it's perfectly legal, you know. Um, so, yeah, you know, what I'm saying I think that this is a very cool, tangible item to have in your household, you know, where you can print as many guns as you want. You know, all you need is like the, the barrel or you know, a little piece of the gun, like, you know, the, the shaft or, you know, anything like that, then you could 3D print the rest of the gun. You feel me? Just like how y'all seen on that clip from that video game called Calypso Protocol. Um, it's, it happens exactly like that. So without further ado, man, shout out to um, Rob Pincus for this video right here. This, this is the content that we're looking at. Rob Pincus. Pincus. P I N. C U S, but um yeah let, let let's let's go with the video let's let's see what we got. This frame is something that I 3D printed. This is one of my first uh, CAD things because this is one of my first designs. It's actually 3D printed, which is cool. So about three weeks ago, I opened up the box on a Creality Ender 5 3D printer. And as you can see here in the video, put it back together with some social media and text breaks along the way. The idea was I just wanted to experiment with it. You know, for years I've paid people to do 3D printing of prototypes and watched people 3D printing guns and watched all the political and social issues around it. Um, and I really just wanted to jump into it. And until about a month ago, I had no idea how inexpensive it was so for well under three hundred dollars i decided to get started see at the time it was like three hundred dollars for the for the 3d printer but it's way more than that now i you know the price now went up because they see the um the demand for them you no know, road and, and got high you feel me so you already know supply and demand you know how that go so they went up on the price but it's still affordable you know it's, it's still something that's it's needed in your household. You know what I'm saying? Imagine you printing instead of you going to the store and got to go through all these, all these trials and tribulations on getting a gun and all this crap. You know, you can just 3D print one right from your home. You feel me? ARs, Glocks, all types of stuff. It all depends what piece you got to um to to, to 3D print. You feel me? But let's continue. The first things I found out was that there's a lot to learn. The learning curve is. Of course, I watched a lot of YouTube videos. I followed 2A 3D Print on Instagram and uh, went to Control Pew, went to DefCAD, um, and really just tried to learn how to set up the printer, how to run the printer, how to get it working. First thing I did, print a cat for my daughter. or maybe 10 days of playing around with it and really trying to understand not only the machine, but also learning CAD, um, learning the slicer software that takes the CAD file and turns it into a file that the printer can turn into something more than just uh, an awkward shape or a toy. Um, I was ready to talk about it with other people and uh, Second Amendment Foundation had me on the Daily Bullet to do just that. It already has the holes uh, for all the pieces, parts, and it, and it already is milled out in the middle. And this will accept the... 
three of the rails and the other frame parts from Polymer 80 and or from Glock uh, so that you can put this together and build this in fire. I haven't put this all the way together. I'm actually taking it back to the Eastern HQ later this week, and I'm going to put this and a couple of other ones together and check them out. Now, here's what I like on 3D printing. First of all, I'm not saying this is a better way to get a firearm, right? It's, it's Trust me, even though the printer I have is about a $200 printer, you can get printers for under $150 bucks where you can print usable gun parts and frames, but you're not going to save money doing this. Uh, frankly, you're not going to save money doing a Polymer 80 build. So you, you don't do it to save money. Uh, I'm obviously here on an on a international video broadcast. I'm using my name under Second Amendment Foundation. You're there. Everybody knows I have this firearm, the ATF watching. I have this firearm, whoever else. Um, it, I'm not just saying this to have guns that are off the books. I have plenty of guns. Also, obviously, I'm interested in uh, printing my own guns, developing my own designs, continuing my development work with Avidity Arms. Um, all kinds of things can come from 3D printing. Um, some of these things I've done have been disasters, obviously. Um, it's, it's definitely a learning curve, but also... Yeah, you really have to learn. It's like it's not like you put it together and then, bam, it, it just 3D prints a gun you have to learn the dynamics on how to print it you know what i'm saying it's like it's just a lot of variables behind it but i'm pretty sure people could learn it if they really take their time and research and do the due diligence they could they could be able to print you could print your gun and i know once you print your first gun you know that's when you know you get the ball rolling then that you know you print your second gun then your third gun then that you know you get better and better at it you know some of them are legit firearms. Like that one right there. See that that is a complete 3D printed gun. Now you see the 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 the, the um the shaft part on top of the gun. That's that that's a real gun piece right there. That that's a real that's real metal. The white stuff is is the is the, the 3D part. The white the white part is is the part that he 3D printed. You know just, just to be clear. The barrel is real. The barrel and the shaft on the top. All that up top is from a real gun. But the rest of it is 3D printed. And that's pretty cool right there, man. You feel me? I think that everybody should have this in their household, man. I really do. Especially in the times we live in. Where they're going to they, they gonna get strict on gun laws and all this crap. So it would be great to have about two 3D printers in your house. You feel what I'm saying? Have one stashed and have one, you know, visible. You feel me? Just in case anything happened. But yeah, man, like this, this is this is something that everybody should have. Wow. First suppressor shots through the first uh, contoured Glock 3D printed gun. It's also the first other person who shot one of my 3D printed guns. So good job, Felipe. And I'm not Maybe afraid. Not afraid. <laughs> nah. Nah. What are we doing? Steel? I'd be fine. Yeah, I'd go for the steel. Oh, there we go. Well, you hit it low twice, but not having suppressor sights, I mean, you're still winging it, right? So that's yeah. good. And the gun is still shooting. That's. You're low. I'm hitting low? Yeah. This is actually the first time uh, I've shot the uh, 3D printed contoured Glock type frame uh, suppressed. So, oh, it's working. Okay, Rob. Rob is a good shot. All you, all I'm hearing is metal. <laughs> every shot he, every shot he shot, it was metal. Ding, ding, ding. That boy a good shot. You feel me? But yeah, man, that's pretty cool, man. To have a 3D printed gun like that, man. That I'm telling you, man. I'm, I'm finna invest in something. I'm finna invest in this. It ain't no if. I am. I am finna invest in that, man. For real. And yeah, I'm using the force because obviously we don't have suppressor size uh, sights and you can see it's a little tiny thing. So this gun not only is really good for the force, but it also um, came out of a 3D printer, which is cool. Nice. Very happy.
That is very nice. That's 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 I we 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 not seen enough, y'all. Because the rest of the video, he probably just mostly talking about something, but we're not gonna get into that, you know what I'm saying? But shouts out to Rob Pinkus for this video, man. And yeah, man, you, there you have it. You can 3D print your own guns from your own from the comfort of your own home. And it's perfectly legal. You feel me? So um I think everybody should be jumping on board. Everybody should this is this is something that your money is gonna really pay off of. You get what I'm saying? Your money's gonna really pay off by buying a 3D printer that print guns. You feel what I'm saying? Cause you can print as many guns as you want, all types, you know. If you got the piece for it, you know, and, and you place it and you know what you're doing, you, voila, you got you, you got you some guns. You feel what I'm saying? Out of thin air. You feel me? But that's it, y'all. I just wanted to, you know, give y'all this video right here. I thought this was very informative and that this is like overlooked content that a lot of people don't know about. So I bring, so, so, so that's what we do here. We know we bring you thought provoking and overlooked content. You feel me? My bad, y'all. I'm sorry about that. God damn. It seems like every time I work, people want to start texting me and all these notifications and shit. But um, yeah, um, again, you know what I'm saying? I think everybody should have this, man. This 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 is something that's very tangible and that everybody should have. But anyway, I'm out of here, y'all. This your boy XV. Came through with another episode of the X Vision Files. More content coming through. And may the most high bless y'all. Got on the yellow band, about to give mama a stroke, gon' need a ambulance.